Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. We're going to look at what their uh, thoughts or feelings are towards you. What are their intentions towards you? Um, we'll use several oracle decks to kind of get this person's energy. All right, so let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirit angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Gemini, regarding the person Gemini is currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. This reading will be for those of you that already have someone in mind. So there's someone that exists in your life, Gemini, that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their energies towards Gemini's spirit? What do we need to know? What are their energies towards Gemini? What are their energies? Oh. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles that flipped over. That is such a Gemini card. Um, so I could tell you that this person, they are serious. Um, whoever this is, they have good intentions. Um, they think about the future. Um, the Knight of Pentacles uh, likes to take their time. They like to do things the right way the first time. But they're very slow. Um, they don't like to take risks. They don't like to kind of rock the boat too much. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, what else do we need to know? What is this person's energy towards Gemini? But they're very serious about you, from what I can see here with the Knight of Pentacles. This one. The High Priestess. Okay. Interesting. Um, I feel like this person is holding back a little bit. Um, maybe they're not being completely upfront with you. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but more like maybe they met you and they knew that you were it, that you were exactly who they were working towards or wanting or saw a future with you long term. But I feel like they didn't really tell you this right away because they're thinking about a future here. Six of Wands, the Four of Wands after that. They're thinking about success, victory with you. But the High Priestess is about kind of what's hidden, mystery, secret, psychic knowledge. Um, so I get the sense that this person maybe didn't tell you that these were their intentions or they didn't want to be too forward about like what they wanted to do here. Um, the High Priestess also is very intuitive energy, very quiet energy. Um, so I feel like this person is wanting to take it slow, maybe because they want to make sure this is right. Um, and it's almost like they're quietly studying you or, you know, kind of really thinking deeply uh, about this connection. I, I really don't think this is a player or someone that is here for a good time. I feel like this is someone that they really do see the potential with you, Gemini. And they're being very careful about you, about this connection, about how they interact with you. Okay, tell me more about this person. What is their energy towards Gemini? What is this person's energy towards Gemini? Wow, the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, attraction, fun. I feel like this person thinks of you as a Queen of Wands, Gemini. Um, obviously there's attraction, but also there's like excitement, interest, curiosity here. I feel like this person um, they're realizing that there's more to you than just how you look or how you appear to others. Um, maybe they met you somewhere where you were very like, I don't know, like there was something fun about the event or about you, but here's the 10 of pentacles and right behind that, the ace of, of cups. So again, it's like, even though this could be something fleeting or it could be something, maybe they think that you are just someone that they could have a lot of fun with. I think that that changes very quickly because they they really quickly start thinking about a long-term future with you. Let's clarify this High Priestess. Oh wow, the King of Cups is there too. Tell me about the High Priestess spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the High Priestess? What is the High Priestess doing here? Gemini. Wow, the Four of Wands, exactly. And there's a Three of Cups. So I'm thinking instantly when I see these two energies, I think wedding, <clears throat> I think marriage, I think celebration, parties. 
But the Four of Wands is a card about stability. It's a card about a happy home, a happy life, domestic bliss, a rite of passage, right? Getting into that next step, that next level. So I feel like this is what your person is secretly thinking about or planning. I don't think they're ready to tell you that they're thinking this far ahead for whatever reason. Maybe the connection is um, a short connection or a new connection, right? I get the sense that they don't want to scare you off or like jump into something too soon, but they're thinking about this. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, can you get some insight, please? On this person's energy when it comes to Gemini. What is this person's energy when it comes to Gemini? What is their energy? Love spell, new love, passion, infatuation. Oh, yeah. This could be somebody new, somebody that you recently have interacted with or met, um, and I, I, it's like they're infatuated with you. They're like, wow, look at this, you know, it's not just passion, but like there's an interest there that's a, that's in a deeper level. What else? What else do we need to know for Gemini? Oh my God, I got three. Horse, action, motivation, energy. Magic lamp, wishes, choices, desires. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like this person meets you and it's like, let's get this party started. Something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realizations, second chances. Some of you could have a second chance with someone, but I feel like there's still that energy there of new love. Um, maybe this is a friendship that evolves into love or maybe your coworkers and it evolves into love, but it's almost like this person didn't really think that this connection, or maybe this is your energy too, Gemini. There's something about the way this connection started that maybe you didn't really think it was going to go very far, but it does. It goes pretty far because you're thinking about marriage commitment, you know, taking the next step. What do they wish they could tell you? Spirit, what does this person wish they could tell Gemini? What do they wish they could tell Gemini? Wow, judgment. That they've had a realization. There's the moon, Pisces energy. I feel like this person wishes they could tell you that they've had a realization about this connection. That they've realized something about this connection. That this isn't just, like maybe this started as a friends with benefits thing or a one night stand, or maybe this started off as a friendship. You know, you were just hanging out, working together on a project, volunteering together, something like that. And it's like, my feelings have changed, you know? Some of you, this is someone that wants to reveal to you that they have these realizations, but also that they want something with you, something different. Um, this could be somebody asking for a second chance as well. But I feel like with the moon here, it's like the high priestess energy. They haven't told you this yet. This is not something you've heard from them just yet. They've kept this to themselves. Tell me about judgment. Spirit, what do we need to know about judgment? What do we need to know about judgment? Four of Swords. Okay. So again, I'm getting like a lot of thinking, reflecting, processing. The Four of Swords is not communicating and it's not acting. It's almost like they're waiting for you here. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like they're they're kind of, they're going to tell you that they've, they've thought about this for some time with the Four of Swords that they've done some inner reflection. You know, I've realized something, I've dug deep. Um, maybe they were, you know, talking to someone close to them and that person alerted them to be like, hey, uh, you have feelings for Gemini. I don't know if you know that, but you do. Or you need to do something about what you've been thinking about. Maybe this person will say something like, I wasn't planning on saying something, but I have to. Eight of Pentacles is putting in effort, work, and then the Six of Pentacles together, it's like you're you're really giving to this connection. You're really giving to, they're willing to give to 
you to this connection, willing to put in the effort, the time necessary. Some of you, it's like they're working hard to impress you. That's what they wish they could tell you. I feel like they're, this is kind of eating them up a little bit. You know, that you are their wish, their desire, that they're infatuated. There's something about you that's different, Gemini. Let's get a PS, I love you here. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Gemini? What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? Thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini. Wow. Reunited at last. This could be somebody that wants to come back together with you. But I also get the sense that this reunited at last is reminding me of the four of wands. I don't know. It's almost like it's not just a reunion, but almost like you finally meet that person. You know? You're connected to someone. And it's like, finally, I get to be with them. Let me know in the comments if this is someone new or if you would love to come together with someone from the past or if you have someone from the past that wants to reunite. You are the only person for me. Wow, Gemini. And bottom of the deck, there is so much I have to tell you. Yeah, they have to tell you this, that you are the only person for them, that they want forever with you that they see a future with you it's all about you gemini what is this person's overall intention towards gemini what is their overall intention towards gemini oh wow we got the five of swords and the wheel of fortune okay so the five of swords very hard to spin this in a positive way but with the Wheel of Fortune, I almost got this message of like, whatever it takes, literally, whatever it takes, I'm going to jump on the opportunity. Maybe you start dating someone, maybe you are already in a connection with someone, or maybe this person has been kind of waiting in the wings. We'll have to clarify this in the extent of this Five of Swords because, you know, it's always worrying to see something like the Five of Swords. But since the Wheel of Fortune is here at the bottom of the deck, I almost get the sense of, like, failure is not an option because the Five of Swords is a card about failure. This is a card about you played yourself and you by trying to play other people. Or you try to take advantage of a situation. You're trying to um, bring your A game, but to the extent of, like, it's not really fair to everyone else. Um... Because you don't want to fail. So you're like over prepared. You overdo it with the five of swords. And you don't really, you're not very honest with someone. So I feel like this person, you know, I think their intention is I cannot fail. Whatever it takes to win Gemini. That's not always the best approach. But I feel like this person is getting, there's something happening to them. With the judgment card, um, the infatuation energy, um the high priestess i feel like this person is like there's something bubbling under the surface for this person i mean but you are the only one for them there's so much they have to tell you i'm curious about what's behind here my feelings for you have not changed wow very strong energies there so Gemini, I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to dive deeper into this person's intentions. And then we'll ask Spirit, what is the potential outcome here? What are their next moves towards you? I also want to pull a couple of more oracles and maybe get some advice for you. All of that will be in the extended, which is a bonus reading linked in the description box. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you'd like to win either uh, the Ever After deck or the PS I Love You deck. Both of the decks will be linked in the description box so you can see more videos and pictures that I have for them. Um, so you can decide which one you want to go for. Don't forget to check out the giveaway details because I haven't really 
thought this through just yet. <laughs> I just know I want to do a giveaway where the details will be more specific and um, you know that's how you know you'll qualify to enter. So check that out um, and hopefully you enjoyed this reading Gemini. If you did don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see all of you in another video very soon. Take care.